up, folks? I am UltraZill, and today I have a review of the Larry Hama action figure. So, uh, let's get to it. This is kind of an impromptu thing. Um, what do we got here? We got Zika Toys as part of the production, and Monkey... A Fresh Monkey Fiction is the actual producers, but I guess they did it together. Um, it is a Larry Hammer action figure, and I'm not taking it out of the box. This is an in-box review. I've done a couple of these. Um, there's certain things you just don't want to take out of the box. I was very unsure if I was with this one. Uh, it took a while to get here, um, you know, this was a Kickstarter, but they had a lot of problems. It's n not the creator's fault, there were a lot of problems with the factory, so, uh, and they had, you know, ultimately had to get a new factory. So, here it is, it's been here, I'm a comic creator myself, uh, in lettering right now, and I've been for a long time. <laughs> um, so, uh... But this is something I definitely wanted to have when it was announced. Um, and now I'm like kind of, you know, I don't really collect this scale of figure anymore as a three and three quarter inch figure. It is cool because he is, as it says, a real American creator, the creator of G.I. Joe. But I don't know if I really need this. I don't see, uh, I'm kind of changing a lot of stuff. Uh, that's going on in the shelves, and I just decided I don't think I want this anymore. Um, no offense to Mon Fresh Monkey or, uh, or, or Larry Hammer. <laughs> it's very cool. It looks cool. The figure lo looked like it came out pretty cool. Very nice. It's got a little baggie of different hands and stuff. Uh, so that is excellent. Very nice piece of art here. I dig it. Classic G.I. Joe looking. You know, the logo's been redone very well. Fully poseable, four inch modern action figure. Here's a space here if you want to get it signed uh, when, you know, things kind of sort of get back to normal. Um, and here's the, the Larry Hama file card. Uh, now, what's going to happen with this? At the time of this recording, my pal Ray from Techie Sales is on his way here to drop off some stuff that I've ordered from him. Um, it's the first time he's, he's dropping off, I usually go pick it up, and I really appreciate him doing that, and he doesn't know it yet, but he's getting this figure. I know he's a big fan, and I know he didn't order this. Um, so I figured, you know, I, that's a nice thing to do. Uh, uh, Techie Sales treats me very well. Ray treats me very well. Uh, and, you know, him dropping off my stuff this time goes above and beyond. So I want to give him something back. Now, by the time he sees this, <laughs> that will have happened because I honestly do not know when this is going up. I have a schedule of stuff that I want to put up, and it's filled up for the next couple of weeks. So this is, uh, you know, definitely in the past for both me, him. So it might be a little weird going, hey, how do you get another one? Uh, but there you go. I just wanted to quickly show you. This is definitely going to be like a filler video uh, one day because, you know, it is what it is. I'm not opening it. I just wanted to show you guys for those that didn't see it, give you a nice, cool look. It is a very nice package, and I think they did a really nice job here. Um, it does look very, 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 very cool. And what's funny is, and you'll probably see that before this, here on the channel, maybe. I don't know, I have no idea yet. Uh, Ray's bringing me a Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe Classified. So uh, that is really cool. That's the one of the only figures I plan to get from that line, <sighs> but we'll see what happens, unless I really love it. Uh, definitely getting that one and a Storm Shadow. I'm kind of like a, a Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, like I, that to me is bigger than all of G.I. Joe, like that sub line, sub storyline, so. It's kind of something I want to have representation of. But there you go. There's the Larry Hama action figure. I don't have... What do I have here? Hold on. There you go. There's a the size comparison. <laughs> it's not a three and three quarter inch figure. But it is a Snake Eyes. It's uh, the Sigma 6 one. Uh, one of very few G.I. Joe things I, I have. It, this, and I do have a three and three quarter inch Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. I just don't know where I put them because I've been moving a lot of stuff around here. So there you go. There is a little size comparison. And my final thoughts is this is a very cool little collectible. 
there's really not much to say. They did a good job with the card. It's totally a cool classic G.I. Joe thing. The figure looks very nice, but I don't know if like, I, I don't know how many people are taking it out. You know, it, it's such a nice thing just like this. Um, sometimes, I know it's not all about the figure, but sometimes things are made, uh, you know, a little special and uh, this is one of those things. So there you go guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Hope Ray digs the figure too. Till next time, peace out. Peace.